Hi, this is John Park for Make Magazine and The Maker Shed. Today I have an Arduino microcontroller, a voice shield, which is a shield that adds sound bite playback and looping capabilities to the Arduino. It allows us to record sounds and then trigger them from software or from an input device. And speaking of input devices, I have the two axis joystick. This has two analog outputs and can fit nicely on a breadboard and we're going to use them to control the sounds coming off of the voice shield. Let's put it together. All right, first off, there is the voice shield, and this is a kit that you'll solder. The directions online are great, so you'll put this thing together. Uh, it took me maybe 20 minutes or so to put it together. It's a pretty quick build. Once you've got that put together, you will attach it to your Arduino by sliding the extended header pins into the Arduino pins. So those are now stacked up and ready to go. What you do next is plug in the Arduino to the USB on your computer. What I did was I recorded some audio files using uh, GarageBand on my Mac, but you could use Audacity, which is a free, uh, really good sound editor, or any other application. Or you can use MP3s that you have pre-existing, WAV files, AIFs. Uh, get them on there, and then you'll address each of those little sound slots from the software. So you could say the number one, two, three, four, and have this play back one, two, three, four, or trigger those sounds from uh, buttons or knobs or other types of input devices. You'll then connect a uh, mini phono cable to the audio input on the voice shield and the other end will go to an audio output on your computer. Send those files over. It just uh, takes a few seconds to get all your files loaded up and onto the board, and uh, then you'll be able to trigger them from another Arduino sketch. Okay, so next let's talk about how the joystick works. This is pretty clever. These joysticks have two potentiometers inside of them, so they're essentially the same as turning two knobs at the same time, they just have a mechanical way of doing it that ties it all together. So in using this with an Arduino, what we have is a positive voltage, a 5 volt will run to one pin per potentiometer, ground will run to the other, and then the analog output pin will go to an analog input pin on the Arduino. So as you move this up and down, you'll get a range of readings that go from about 0 to about 1023. I say about because there's some physical limits in there uh, that it doesn't quite go that low. So if you're using uh, one of these in a sketch, in a program that you're making for your Arduino, you'll want to test that range first. Mine went from about 40 to about 999 or something like that. So I used that range as my minimum and maximum. To make it easy to interface the joystick with my Arduino and the voice shield, I've plugged it into a breadboard and I've run wiring to the rails for my positive voltage and ground, so that's going to run to the ground pins and the positive voltage pins on the joystick. Uh, there's two pairs of those, and then I have the analog uh, out zero for my left and right joystick potentiometer, and a analog one input on the Arduino is going to the up and down potentiometer on the joystick. So I'll plug this together now and we'll see how it works. So for my breadboard installation, I'm going to run the 5 volt there to the 5 volt rail, which then runs around to the other side. So I'm using uh, bridging across the breadboard. I've got a wire running to ground, same thing, that will run around that rail to the other side so that we can use both sides of the, the pins on the potentiometer. And now this is this orange jumper wire I have here is running from the up-down output on the joystick. And I'll put that one in pin 1, uh, analog input 1 on the Arduino. And then this green wire is going to the left-right output on the joystick, and that's going to go to pin 0 on the voice shield and Arduino. Now that that's all hooked up, I'm going to plug a phono cable 
into some amplified speakers. This is just an old set of desktop speakers from a PC. And then I'll plug in a 9 volt battery to power the Arduino. Two. Okay, and now I'm going to sort Two. through some of the sounds Two. using the joysticks left Two. right. Two. Light. 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 You. You. Now the way you. I'm going to use the up down you. is to adjust the delay you. between the samples. Light. Two. 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 Now let's check out a full phrase. Two. One. One. You. Light. Two. Play. A. Game. There are obviously a lot of different things that you could do with these components uh, mixed together or with other things. I know that the Voice Shield makes a pretty cool uh, voice for a robot if you want to have pre-programmed phrases that occur when the robot bumps into things like telling people to get out of the way um, or for some pieces of sculpture or art installations where you'd like to have words or phrases mixed based on interactions that people have with the sculptures. Uh, there's a lot of neat things that you can do with that shield and uh, just getting comfortable with analog input from a joystick is uh, also something I think is really worthwhile to explore with your Arduino. Thanks so much. I'm John Park for Make Magazine and The Maker Shed. I'll see you next time. To play a game, to game, like, like a game.